We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and Action Figure Collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series figure review. We're looking today at Hu Yang, Professor Hu Yang, as it is labeled on the box. David Tennant voicing another awesome addition to Star Wars. He's already been in Star Wars. David Tennant's already done Hu Yang back in the Clone Wars. Um, but now we're getting him in live action, which, you know, he's very quickly become a favorite droid of mine. I think he's been fantastic. I look forward to seeing more. Um, yeah, it looks like a very, very impressive figure. He's number seven in the Ahsoka line, part of the second wave, I believe. Um, says set after the fall of the Empire, so it follows, yeah, it's just a write up on the show. It's not actually about Hu Yang, so I'm not even going to read it. I've got some artwork on the side of the box. Looks pretty good, despite all my reflections in there. But we're going to take a look at the figure. Let's crack it open and take a squiz. All right, here is Hu Yang, straight out of the packaging, straight out of the gate. I'm a big fan of this figure. I think he looks fantastic. Like I said, another awesome addition to our sort of droids. Like, you know, we've had a great deal of droids come out under the Disney banner. Um, from All the way from, like, BB-8, K2SO. Ch oh, Chopper, I guess, to a point. Um, L3, not my favourite, but still... But this one here, Hu Yang, is a fantastic looking figure. I'm really, really thrilled with this one. He looks great. You get a nice sort of, almost got a little bit of a metallic, sort of pearlescent look to some of the parts, some of the main sort of body, the head a little bit, mainly just the sort of the body. Sort of, this is, you know, very quick reactions from me, so. I haven't had a great deal of time to sort of look at this figure in great detail just yet. So you're right here with me at the same time. So articulation looks good. Accessories does come with the uh, the light stick. I'm pretty sure that's one of the one of the lightsaber sticks that he uses for training with Sabine. Uh, so that's cool. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. It's like almost like a torch. So that looks good. Looks like you will be able to hold that. It's a little bit loose in the hand, but you know it's not going to fall out. A little bit, little bit tighter in that hand, so that's good. We do have his sort of data pad here, which is cool. So I think something like this, if this something like this was included with the uh, Bad Batch Tech figure, that would have been a nice little bonus as well. So then that looks like it will just sort of sit in his hand, like so. So that looks good. Well, I'm happy with that. That looks pretty nice. And then we do get the uh, the backpack here. Quote unquote backpack. Which has his sort of extra extra appendages. So sort of just sits in there. Maybe maybe it's upside down. It is, I reckon it's upside down. That looks better. Fits in there nicely. So you got those extra, extra bits up there. Almost looks like General Grievous. General Kenobi. <laughs> now that's cool, I like that. So they all sort of fold down and tuck neatly in there, which is very nice. They look good. So I don't know whether there's anywhere to to put the blade, whether those arms will hold it or not. I'll work that out as I go along. I think it's meant to, but yeah, just, just looking at it very quickly, I can't work it out. So I, I will, in time, figure out exactly what goes on there. That looks good. That's nice. I like the, I like the little feature there of the backpack. So let's take a look at Mr. Hu Yang. Again, I like the sort of gold eyes there. And they are sort of painted in a nice sort of good shimmery gold. The sculpt is great. I hope to see a lot more of Hu Yang in the in the future of Star Wars. I think you know having 
having a history of you know twenty five thousand years means you know they can they can do a lot with him, and you know a lot of talk about that sort of early sort of dawn of the Jedi era film that they're going to work on twenty five thousand years can't be just a coincidence that uh you know a variation of Hu Yang may or may not appear in that sort of time era. Which would be fantastic, honestly. It would be really good. You know, loving the details. Loving all the sort of exposed wires through the midriff. Very C-3PO like there. He's got his sort of tool pouch. The belt, that looks cool. This gives him a little bit more character. But yeah, I really liked him in the series. I think he was great. <clears throat> so articulation wise he has a ball jointed head ball jointed neck uh, ball hinge in the shoulders so they go up about that far they spit around there uh, in the shoulder elbows uh, wrists both go in and out joint there at the bottom of the torso there so that's nicely hidden by the uh, pouch got the sort of the t-bar joints that they're using now ball and socket on each leg which is good uh, knee joint of course swivels on both ends of that and then the ankle joint as well so he's a nice looking figure I'm, I'm digging him I like him a lot Give him his training, training torch lightsaber. Again, I will go and check out some more reviews and see if anyone else has sort of worked out what to do with that before I choose how I'm going to display him. But he is good. I like Hu Yang a lot. Very, very nice figure. And some cool articulated bits here on the backpack as well. So that's that's cool. I know he was using these in the show, I don't recall. I know he was sort of doing something with the training. He was holding a couple of extra torches, like the lightsaber parts. So definitely need to give give that series a rewatch. Yeah, I like the way that all sort of closes in together, it looks nice. Awesome. Really, yeah, pretty pretty darn happy with this one. It look nice on the shelf. It's so far only really Ahsoka and uh, Morgan in the line that I've picked up so far. Ezra is part of the Rebels, so and uh, Sabine not yet available here. So hopefully sooner rather than later, it'd be great. Hope to see Sabine very soon. I'm looking forward to that figure. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I'd love to know what you think of this one. Drop a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff that YouTubers do. Appreciate your support and we'll see you for some more reviews very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.